Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Inheritor back again with another tutorial video. Um, I've been requested ceiling shots and or air dribbles. Uh, if possible, double touches. Okay, so this is going to be very hard to learn. Um, now, for your rank being plat, I do not advise really either, uh, any of them because they aren't particularly relevant. However, um, for a ceiling shot, your goal is gonna be to uh, set it up just like you were going to set up an air dribble where you're gonna, you know, jump off the wall, this sort of thing. But instead of jumping, you're just going to let, you're just gonna touch the ball going up the wall while you're boosting and you're gonna have to come off. I don't do a whole lot of ceiling shot anything so, you know, I'm not going to be your your professional tutorial here, but um, the main thing to know is that, for one, you have to have all around, like, 360 car control in the air. I just did a video on this, uh, so I would definitely make sure to check that out as well. Um, if you don't have very good uh, control in the air. Um, like I said, I already did a video on, or at least I think I already said this, I already did a video on air dribbles and that will be somewhere on either in the description or in my cards on the video, which you can click on to go check that one out as well. Um, so when it comes to ceiling shots, you're gonna set it up just like you're gonna go for an air dribble. Hit it off the wall and you're just gonna flip into the ball. Like I said, you're gonna need that air control to be able to pull this off. Um, and pretty good reads on the ball. If you get too soft of a hit, you're not gonna reach it in time. Um, I just, I would really just focus on your basic mechanics and getting consistent with those before you start learning this because your basic mechanics are what matter. Going for ceiling shots and then missing puts you out of position in every situation, whether you're in ones or threes or twos. Ones, twos, or threes, whatever. Um, which is one of the reasons why I rarely ever go for ceiling shots unless I'm up a lot of goals. Now, if it's too low, it's not to say you can't still reach it because you can jump off the wall for this. Um, or off the ceiling and still make it in time depending on how low it goes but sometimes it'll bounce as well which ultimately you can't really do anything with unless you're just really fast um, one other way you can go about it is as if you were going to do an air dribble you're going to jump when you touch the ball or just after get your ceiling touch and do whatever with the ball um this is just one of those things you're going to have to experiment with. There's not a whole lot to be taught with this mechanic. Um, you just got to be able to read the ball and go from there, really. Because um, ultimately, it's not much different than a regular hit. It's just upside down. And in the air. But, you know. So I am honestly not going to be... This isn't going. This isn't even really a tutorial at this point, because um, I just don't know enough about this mechanic to really teach it. If you really want to figure out how to do a ceiling shot, just roll it up the wall, drive into the ball while boosting, let yourself come off if you have the time to do that, and flip into the ball. It's gonna be hard to to read just how uh, low you're gonna have to go to be able to get your touch on the ball. Just note that when you're upside down, you're going to go back up into the air rather than, you know, going down or anything else like that. Um, it's really hard to set yourself up and ceiling shots really just come as they come. Don't necessarily try for them all the time. 
you can do some pretty cool stuff with them, don't get me wrong, but like I said, they are a not important mechanic, especially for your rank, and, um, I just really wouldn't focus your time on this uh, style of, of, um, mechanic. I couldn't think of the word. So for double touches, I'm going to cover both of these in this tutorial because this video is very short as it is. Um, so real fast, I'm going to find a replay that I happen to have a double touch of and uh, just kind of explain the process. There's not a whole lot you can be taught with this one either. Just uh, you got to have that good air control as well for this one. 2,000 years later. All right, so... Um, Switching gears because I couldn't find a replay. I I know I have a gazillion of them, but I just got tired of looking. So this um, training pack I included in the um, how to air dribble uh, tutorial. I will drop that of uh, the code to this in the description as of this video as well. Um, this is going to be very good for your double touch purposes. It's very similar to just going for a regular old air dribble, but not so much at the same time. You know what? I can just do this. So this is a... Number shot number five is your first shot that you could potentially get a double touch on. This one's kind of difficult to go for because you have to get a pretty soft touch to be able to uh, do that. I'm not going to do it for this one. This is the first one realistically that I always do it on. Just shot number six. Your objective is to get a nice light touch to the. Um, ball going towards the um, backboard and then you're going to follow up, follow it up and get a touch um, so you know to be able to do a double touch you have to be able to read your backboard bounces which you can just do by you know going in trying to hit the ball if you hit the ball good keep it up keep going until you're you're consistently reading the ball. Now, some bounces are just impossible to read, and if you read them, you're insane. But, um, you know, you wanna... A double touch is all about the setup and your positioning. So, you know, you get your touch, read where the ball's gonna go, reposition your car accordingly, and, um, try to score it. The top portion of the backboard is very hard to read because you can never tell if it's going to go straight down in a rolling motion or if it's going to bounce down in a more, uh, well, a less, lesser downward uh, angle than just like rolling down the backboard, for instance it'll actually bounce off and out a bit. That's what I'm getting at. Um, so, uh, you know, you gotta be able to read your backboard, and if you if you can just, like, straight up fly towards, the, like, when someone passes the ball and it hits, bounces off the backboard, and you can fly and score it consistently, then your double touch is your next step because it's just a self-set versus a preset, quote unquote. So your next shot that you can do a double touch on is going to be shot number 16. Which is going to be a little more difficult to set yourself up on, given the angle you're going to have to hit the ball. It's 
pretty difficult to get the right touch on the ball. See, that one didn't just roll down. Not like I was going to get that anyway. But it did bounce off slightly. But ultimately, you want to hit it on the bottom left side of the ball. Obviously, the left side. And then uh, follow it up. It might be helpful to turn off ball cam if you uh, if you do that sort of thing with turning off ball cam to go for shots. It does help you with precision as long as you can handle the switch of camera and still read where what what's going on. But like as you can see, it's pretty difficult to get a good setup for a double touch. But it is doable. It just takes time. So 17 is also one you can set yourself up for a double touch. And miss, even though that was going in. But I don't like it to bounce. So there's only really a couple of shots you can do that with. Because uh, then you go on to more, some more air dribble work. And, uh, which you can turn into a quote-unquote double touch, really. Um, see, you can do it. It's just much, much harder on the difficulty scale since you have to control the air dribble and be able to slow yourself down to actually hit the ball for the double. But you can also just, you know, flip into the ball. If you can get an, uh, a good enough touch. <laughs> so, you know, ceiling shot and double touches are not crucial, especially for your rank. Um, being plat one. I don't think really either of those are very important until you reach champ. Um, however, don't get me wrong, being able to read the backboard shots are going to be important. So learning double touches at least might help you with that process. Um, but aside from that, I, I don't think learning the ceiling shots is going to help you in your gameplay. Um, I'm currently sitting at champ, uh, Grand Champ 1. I have been Grand Champ 2, and last season I was near 1800 Grand Champ before the new ranks. Um, and I don't even go for ceiling shots more than, like, once or twice in an entire session, which could be hours long. But anyways, definitely focus on your uh, main mechanics and get your speed up. Get consistency. Once you have consistency, then work on the other mechanics. And when I say basic mechanics, I mean like the ones that matter. Your half flip, your, your wave dashes, your just general hitting the ball, uh, that sort of stuff. Just your your necessities to your gameplay is what you want to focus on. And then go from there. A lot of lower ranks put their focus in all these fancy mechanics and it doesn't do them any good because one, they can't even hardly hit the ball properly on the ground to start. And then they're out here also, inconsistently, going for ceiling shots, air dribbles, and all this stuff, and giving away ball possession, and putting themselves out of position because they have no boost and can't recover fast at the same time. All of these different factors come into one, one thing, and it's a big problem. 
So, you know, you don't have fast recovery. You're not fast in general. You hesitate going for the ball. You uh, miss the ball all the time. You, I mean, missing open nets is just a part of the game, but, and so is missing in general. However, if you're doing it all the time, there's a problem. So if you're going for, you know, ceiling shots, air dribbles, all these fancier, unnecessary things, you're focusing on the wrong things. So please make sure you are really consistent with your basic mechanics and have a faster pace than others before you start learning these other mechanics. I know people that have made it all the way to champ with nothing fancy, no air dribbles, no fast kickoffs, no nothing. It was just basic... Um, basic mechanics and being able to outsmart people. Think of Kronovi. For the longest time he was very non-mechanical. And he still is, don't get me wrong, but he... I mean, he, learned, he knows how to do them now, but he will choose to play smart rather than going all freestyle happy, if you will. So, I do hope this video uh, helps you out. Uh, please choose your path wisely. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if you liked this tutorial slash overview, more like overview because I didn't really do a tutorial on anything. Um, I do stream on Twitch uh, pretty much daily around 9 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, yeah, drop that, drop a sub if you uh, want to see more content, baby. <laughs> All right, that's gonna be it for today. Thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. <gasps> Deuces.